child. So my aunt had made a, a crab oil today, her own, own homemade crab oil. And it was so fucking nasty. <laughs> it was so nasty. It was so nasty that I couldn't even, like, I had to lie. Like, I couldn't tell her it was nasty. It was so nasty. And it um hurt my stomach and stuff like that. She's always yanking on me. Frustrations out on my baby boots. I'm a cute doggy. She's so mean to her. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, if you want to be with her, she's mean to her. It's not being mean. Like, I don't like, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like passive aggressive women. Like, if you're going to be a bitch, be a bitch to everybody. Don't pick and choose you're gonna be a bitch with. Don't be a bitch to the people you think are weak link to you. Be a bitch to everybody. Stand ten toes on that shit. You gonna be rude to the dog. Be rude to your nigga. Be rude to you know. Be rude to your mama. Be rude to everybody if you're gonna do that. But if you're not. Don't pick and choose. Don't be don't be rude to it at all, but be nice to your nigga. Like, nah, I stand ten toes on being a bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways, um, yeah, so her, that thing hurt my stomach so bad. And it was so nasty. It was so nasty. I don't know what she did, because she don't be, she didn't do no instruction. She said in her head, this is how it is. <laughs> so this is how it's going to be. <laughs> no flavor, no nothing, and it's nasty and bland and nasty. And I got a heartburn, it hurts, uh, indigestion, <laughs> and the runs. <laughs> and the runs. <laughs> right, high cholesterol in everything. I was wondering why I was so durable and like in the things. And my titties aren't sore like that, really. They're a little tender, but not too sore. Right now, my period should be here within the next couple of days. Um, probably a little TMI, right? But hey, my friends, I will overshare as much as it is, anyways. So, yeah, so going back into our discussion. I'm gonna go into this job. Let me. Where's my marker? We're blessed in the field. We're blessed in the field. So now, now we've done it, and we have successively, successfully gone through the hardship. Right? We've gone through that period in our lives where. We've, you know, we've gone through, yeah, turmoil and the unknown and all of the things. And now, this is so great. And now, you know, we've gone through Job, going through head and back, right? And now, we're about to see what God had to say. Because now, God is coming with providing clarity. Because first, God was real hush hush, right? Even in our situation, God was hush hush. And we had a lot of people telling us that we weren't in alignment, that we weren't doing this right, that it was because of our mindset, because it was this, that, and the third, right? It's because you are, you, because you did, you're not eating uh, the proper foods. It's because you're not taking these baths. It's because you don't know how to conjure. It's because this, that, and the third. But in fact, God is like, I just wanted you to do something decent and in order. I wanted to make sure that when you get your shit, you appreciate it even more you understand the turmoil of it you understand the humility that has to come from it. i have to humble you i know i know about you she had to be humble she has to be humble oh hey what she gotta be humble because she's an iron you gotta humble her i was like, right, man, you gotta humble her okay you got to humble her you got to be humble and i told you a lot of folks are moving into this space where they're going to have to be humble you're going to have to be very humble a lot of readers have now taken on this point when they think that they speak 
for God because they think that they are God themselves. Them hoteps then told everybody that you are a God. And now everybody is operating as a God through their ego. So in reality, they're just being a, a, a low functioning devil. Right? Um, even Jesus had to be humbled. I feel like his crucifixion was in the, is the midst of his humility, right? I wish to show the smoke on camera so y'all could have the effect. But it don't, and I'll be mad about that. Ooh, that made my hand so clear. You see all the ash because I just washed my hands. I showed you I washed my hands when I got up. I didn't put any moisturizer on. Something a little ashy. Do you see it? There it goes. Okay. Spirit also, because the inner child card came up before we left. Spirit has also been saying about um, stepping into your inner child, your childish nature, your you know, looking at things from a child lens, addressing its situations from a childlike stature. You want to be able to uh, think, do things in a more jovial way, even if it comes to dating, even if it comes to, you know, uh, combating conflict and stuff like that. Come use humor, use jokes, use light, laugh, chuckle out of bitch. Ain't nothing where the best revenge is chuckling at a bitch. Laugh at the hoe, right? She comes at you, laugh at her. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> you serious right now? <laughs> are you serious right now? Right? People get more angry when you aren't taking their anger seriously. When you are using laughter and things like that, you can combat things way more than you rallying up with them. A person who is angry is going to want you to feed the anger with them. They want you to, they want to, you know, that's how the spirit of anger feeds itself. Evil wants you to t retaliate and argue with them. That's how they get their fuel. But if you don't and you refuse, you are actually do using wisdom and smarts and intellect to combat the issue. I don't know. I like to chew on my nails. Don't y'all? Did I ever show y'all how glittery they are? It probably looks fucked up. Don't it? Whatever. Don't be a hater. <laughs> anyway. Yes. So, laugh at a bitch. Ha ha, you mad. <laughs> you mad, bitch. But also, so Spirit was telling me, and as I was writing the things for doing the downloads on the Instagram, channeling really does take a lot of energy out of you, right? And so, one of the things I did talk about on Twitter today was how we need to, so the reason why spirit is saying that a lot of readers need to make the transition from doing private readings is because like i told y'all before a lot of people there's a mass of people now who are going to be looking for psychic readings they're going to because you know they lost their jobs the inflation all of these things and these are a lot of people who didn't have a spiritual foundation as is anyways they never had built or even interacted with God like that. Maybe their families never taught them how to, or whatever the case may be, or maybe they just felt like they they didn't they were more skeptic than anything, right? So these people are now going to be coming to you looking for a, a message. Before you were being able to attain your following through your your card, your pick a card readings, or your Instagram lives, or whatever the case of how you grew your shit, right? Your platform. You, whether you, maybe you did it through Twitter, if you did it through TikTok and shit like that, right? So, but the, a lot of those people who you had grew, who where you grew your 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 business from, are people who were already already naturally into the content of spirituality. They were already in it. They already knew what to expect. So, a lot of them understand the cryptic messages that you give, or the riddles that you have said, or you know, you know, we're not clear all the time in our messages. Sometimes. I could be like, okay, the, the moon gonna jump over the sky. Remember that. <laughs> 
And as a spiritualist, as somebody who's in spirituality, as somebody who's going through the the steps of spirituality, you're gonna be like, mm hmm, mm hmm. Bitch, I already knew what you were saying. The moon showed it. It showed it. Jump over the sky. Bitch, it showed it. Right? But somebody who's not in that, someone who is a skeptic, someone who is fully operating in just general, just full logic, is going to be somebody who's going to be like, the, the fuck? Moon jump? That doesn't even fucking make sense. What do you mean? The moon cannot jump over the sky. How can that is? I'm not going to listen to you because how can the moon jump over the sky? The moon is in the sky. You can't jump over the sky. <laughs> you know, shit like that, right? So uh, what we learned as therapists was to not give advice. The reason why we don't give advice to therapists is because we don't need people saying, well, you told me to do this, that, and the third. However, that is the complete opposite of pulling cards, right? When you pull cards, you're going to be like, hey, you need to, to, um, you're going to need to uh, expect this. You're going to need to navigate like this. You need to do this, this, like that, right? Take you some basil. Your, your heart is da 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 da. So y'all need you to drink this type of tea. I need you to do this, that, and the third, right? Um, wear this color tomorrow. Drink you some lemon water. It's giving, it's really more about giving advice, right? But it's coming from a guidance of spirit. Now, a lot of us, like I said, we, we're in that energy, we're in that community, we're in that space, so we understand each other. If you say, I can't do your reading this week, I'm going to have to do it next week because the download still ain't came in, I'm going to be like, okay, I'll see you next week. And if you need to wait another time, don't worry. Let me, just let me know. I trust that when the message comes, you know, I am trust that the, I will receive the message when the message comes, right? Because I'm in that community. I'm in that space. I know what to expect. I understand that a reader is not like, yeah, the reader's not going to be able to get the download right then and there. But somebody who is a skeptic, somebody who's already coming with hostility, someone who's already angry and bullshit like that is going to be coming to you and be like, I paid this money for this service and what do you mean you're going to come next week to give me this message they're already irate so they're looking for other more reasons to be mad like i told y'all if you in your ego if you're not lacking your accountability you will look externally and point fingers at everybody else and saying why aren't you doing this for me why aren't you doing that for me instead of looking and pointing at yourself and saying why haven't i done this myself why haven't i made this sacrifice myself why haven't i did this that and the third myself right so, so those are the things we're looking we're looking at and we need to expect right so i say so yeah so spirit was saying that moving forward in the higher timelines a lot of us who are spiritual we're already tapping to our own gifts we're already reading our own cards we're already doing the things that we need to do we we all been here as family as a unison as soul family we understand we're on this journey together when you give me a message i understand you're going through it simultaneously as me but people who aren't in that journey who are now coming because of maybe they've seen all of us within our abundance right seeing like well maybe they're doing something right but they're mad they're not ready to surrender they're still operating in their ego they're going to be mad about some of the things that you're going to say they don't understand that the energy is timeless it may not be today it may not be next month it may be what i read for you may manifest itself in three years but these people they're going to take immediate results because they're used to immediate results they're the same people who get who mad and complain when amazon prime doesn't bring their delivery the next day they're mad because it came two days later so now they want a refund right so they're going to be the same people who are going to want to sue you they're going to want to do all of these things and unfortunately if you stay and operate in that space of greed you are going to have to you're going to receive you're going to receive the brunt of that consequence you they may win those cases a lot of why the salem witch trial happened was because these were egotistical witches these were women who were taking matters into their own hands they were doing things in retaliation that was of an egocentric and ego-centered thing that's not what we're doing when we are coming into utilizing spiritual gifts when we are utilizing our, our gifts we are looking 
ability to heal, help heal others as we are healing ourselves. We're not looking for revenge. We're not looking for retaliation. So if you're going and you're going to continue pulling these cards for greed, instead of taking that little bit of a hit on your finances to pivot to where you need to go, right? Doing the sacrifice that you need in order to pivot to your next destination, your next positioning. The spirit does not want us always being in a position to be a tarot reader. You're not being meant to be a tarot reader. You're all the days of your life. You may just be divining this way for the next three years and then spirit is going to want you to elevate and move into a higher position now spirit may want you to teach maybe spirit is going to have you in position to teach metaphysics in schools you know as a professor who knows right but the thing is this times of the energy in the clientele that is coming has changed it's changing tremendously so these are people who are looking to argue looking to sue they're desperate so if they see an opportunity to have a lawsuit to where they could get a lot of money from damages and things like that, they're going to do that. They're going to do that, right? Um, and so a lot of these people who are going to be getting sued and all of these things is a lot of people who are fake spiritualists, people who are, were faking the funk already. So Spirit saying if you fake in the funk, now you're about to get your ass handed to. You was faking being a witch, now you was on a Salem witch trial. You faking being tapped in, we're gonna see just how tapped out you are, right? Um, they're not gonna be playing with y'all when it comes to you know, if this is the age of Pisces, so if you were faking it, you were fake being a psychic, you're not going to make it now as we're in the age of Pisces. Uh, the justice is going to be served for the fake messages you use. All the false prophets are now going to be getting justice served towards them for the ways in which they have led people astray or have discouraged people from wanting to get closer to God or have hurt people's hearts and feelings towards that, right? It's the same thing when it comes to preachers and pastors. You're going to start seeing a whole lot of lawsuits in regards to religious and spiritual leaders. If you are on that fuck shit, you are going, you, you will start to see that you did not win the court the case but if you aren't right like they can't sue you it won't work if it was free work and that's what spirit said i want you guys to transition into doing more collective readings doing more like how you've been doing on your on your channels and stuff like that like being more committed to those free things and then i'm going to leave you room and space to do to have other pursuits you want to be an actress i'm gonna let you in a big ass role because you didn't gave you didn't gave your services up for me right um, if you want to be a singer, now I'm about to have you as a world-renowned singer. You're going to be up on thousands of stages as big as Beyonce in less time. You want to be a musician? I'm going to have you just as excellent and as magnificent as Prince. You want to be, you know, this, that, and that. If you realize that a lot of celebrities do a lot of sacrifice through charity work, through foundations and stuff like that. But we don't pay attention to that stuff. Those aren't the celebrity gossips that we gossip about. It's easier to spread that they are part of Illuminati than it is to spread their foundation and the good that they're doing. Right? And I've been looking and reading, like, the energies behind different celebs. Like, I know that some people are just going to be fucked up just because they're fucked up. But there's some that I'm like, you are such a sweet spirit. It's such a disservice that people are calling you demonic. Because you're so loving. Whereas they're not calling their grandmother, their sister, their cousin demonic. <laughs> they're calling your little sweet self who is making a huge major impact in this world and has helped gazillions of people. So it's insane. It's insane. Insanity. So let's get into Joe. Yeah, you think goats give birth? Period. God. Okay, so I'm going to start with 38. And then the Lord said, If you ask, you can do it. I hear the Lord say, if you ask, he will do it. He's not wanting to fight or wanting any distance. If there ever was distance, it's because we wanted to hide. As I hear tonight, there's a fresh start. Mm -hmm. 
and it's only the beginning. Boom, 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 boom. There's a prayer in the sky. Mm -hmm. Just close your eyes and you'll see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is that that darkens counsel by words without, by words without knowledge? Now grip up your loins like a man, and I will ask you, and you instruct me. Where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth? Tell me, if you have understanding, who set its measurements, since you know, or who stretched um, who stretched the line on it? On what were its bases sunk, or who laid its cornerstone? The stone that the builder refused will always be the hit cornerstone. Um, when, he, when the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted of joy. And who enclosed the sea with doors? When bursting forth, it went out from the womb. When I made a cloud its, its garment, and thick darkness its swaddling band, and I placed boundaries on it, and see a boat and doors, and I said, Thus far you shall come, but no further. And here shall you shall your proud waves stop. Have you ever in your life commanded the morning and caused the dawn to know its place? That's so shady. Like, bro, have you ever even called the sun up? <laughs> No, <laughs> I have. <laughs> so, um, that it may take hold of the ends of the earth and the wicked be shaken out of it. Um, it is changed like clay under the seal, and they stand forth like a garment. From the wicked, their light is withheld, and the uplifted arm is broken. Have you entered into the springs of the sea? or walked in the recesses of the deep? Have the gates of death been revealed to you? Or have you seen the gates of deep darkness? Have you understood the expanse of the earth? Tell me if you know all this. Where is the way to the dwelling of light and darkness where it is placed, that you may take it to its territory and that you may discern the path to its home? You know, for you were born then, and the number of your days is great. Have you entered the storehouses of the snow? Or have you seen the storehouses of the hail, which I have reserved for the time of distress, for the day of war and battle? Where is the way that the light is divided or the east wind scattered on the earth? Who has cleft a channel for the flood or a way to the for the thunderbolt to bring rain on a land without people on a desert without a man in it to satisfy the waste desolate land and to make the seeds of grass to sprout has the rain a fa has the rain a father who has begotten the drops of dew like the dew in the morning they rest upon your heart like the dew like the dew in the morning um from whose womb has come the ice and the frost of heaven who has given it birth water becomes hard like stone and the surface of the deep is imprisoned can you bind the chains of the of the pallades or lose the cores of orion can you lead forth a constellation in its season and guide the bear with it, her satellites do you know the ordinances of the heavens or fix their rule over the earth can you lift up your voice to the cloud so that an abundance of water will cover you? Can you send forth lightnings that may go and say to you, here we are? Who has put wisdom in the innermost being or given understanding to the mind? Who can count the clouds by wisdom or tip the water jars? of the heavens and when the dust hardens into mass and the clouds stick together can you hunt the prey for the lion or satisfy the appetite of the young lions when they crouch in their dens and lie and wait in their hair lair isn't that crazy though like god provides plentiful in terms of 
feeding animals but we as humans always run out when it comes to feeding an animal and which is why they tell you don't feed like wild animals because when you run out of food <laughs> we run out of food how how are they supposed to eat and they're gonna retaliate now they're gonna eat you because now you food right um but they don't eat god because god always got something for them that's funny like you just god just never runs out of food for the animals or for you right and then i just talk about how the animals eat what you what you make in your garden that's why okay anyways <laughs> um who prepares for the raven its nourishment when it's young cry to god and wander about without food do you know the time the mountain goats give birth do you observe the calving of the deer? Can you count the months they fulfill? Or do you know the time they give birth? They kneel down, they bring forth their young, they get rid of their labor pains. Their offspring become strong. They grow up in the open field. They leave and do not return to them. Who sent out the wild monkey, the wild donkey free? And who loosed the bounds of the of the swift donkey to whom I gave the wilderness for a home and the salt land for his dwelling place. He scounds the tumult of the city, the shoutings of the driver he does not hear. He explores the mountain for his pasture and searches after every green thing. Will the wild ox consent to serve you? Where was I? Will the wild ox consent to serve you? Um, or will he spend the night at your manager? Oh, at your manger. Oh, my manager. At your manger. Um, can you bind the wild ox in a furrow with ropes? Or will he harrow the valleys after you? Will you trust him because his strength is great and leave your labor to him? Will you have faith in him that he will return your grain and gather it from your threshing floor? The ostriches, the ostrich's wings flap joyously with the pinion and plumage of love, for he, for she abandons her eggs to the earth and warm and warms them in the dust, and she forgets that a foot may crush them or that a wild beast may trample him. She treats her young cruelly as if they were not hers. Though her labor be in vain, she is unconcerned. Because God has made her forget wisdom and has not given her a share of understanding, when she lifts herself on high, she laughs at the horse and his rider. I just watched an ostrich uh, chase these cyclists. I think they were in South America. And I saw this video and they were just running fast behind the cyclist. I would I would be scared of shit. Um when she lifts on her heart, she laughs at the horse out in his rider. I'm a rough rider. You don't wanna fuck with me. Okay, so do you give the horse his might? Do you clothe his neck with a mane? Do you make him leap like a locust? His majestic snorting is terrible. He paws in the valley and rejoices in his strength. He goes out to meet the weapons. He laughs at fear and is not dismayed. And he does not turn back from the sword. The quiver rattles against him, the flashing spear and javelin. With shaking and rage, he races over the ground. And he does not stand still at the voice of the trumpet. As often as the trumpet sounds, he says, aha. <coughs> I don't know why I did it like that. But, and he sends the battle from afar and the thunder of the captains in the war cry. It is by your understanding that the hawk soars, stretching his wings toward the south. It is it, is it at your command that the eagle mounts up and makes his nest on high. On the cliff he drills and lodges upon the rocky crag, an inaccessible place from there he spies out food his eyes see it from afar his young ones also suck up blood and where the slain are there he is he what can job say uh, <laughs> I, on some real shit what can he say if god is trying to tell you like bitch do you know the measurements of the earth <laughs> 
<laughs> do you know every second of every leaf that forms on that tree <laughs> do you know when this this when this leaf was born and what time this leaf came afterwards and what time this leaf came do you know how many leaves is on here <laughs> god is petty do you know how to form the cloud <laughs> that you see no <laughs> so leave my name watch your motherfucking mouth okay <laughs> no but um Sorry, we had the same class. My mama would say, uh, "Why are you coming from this direction?" And boy, you know the work. <laughs> okay, so forty. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm being so busy. Um, let's continue. Okay, so then, then the Lord said, um, then the Lord said to Job, "Will the fault finder contend with the Almighty?" Let him go, reproves God answered. Wait, then the Lord said to Job, will, will that fault finder contend with the Almighty? Let him who reproves God answer it. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am insignificant. What can I reply to you? I lay my hand on my mouth. Once I have spoken, I will not answer even twice, and I will add nothing more. Then the Lord answered Job out of the storm and said, Now, gird up, gird up your loins like a man. I will ask you and you instruct me. Will you really annul my judgment? Annul my judgment? Will you condemn me that you may be justified? Or do you have an arm like God and can you thunder like a voice like his? Adorn yourself with eminence and dignity and clothe yourself with honor and majesty. I was gonna sing a song by Chronix, but I do not know the words, so I'm not even gonna try. Pour out the overflowing majesty. <laughs> uh, mm, mm, mm. Okay, so pour out the overflowings of your anger and look on everyone who is proud and make him low. Or the hippopotamus. Anyways, um, pour out the overflowings of your anger and look on everyone who is proud and make him low. Look on everyone who is proud and humble him. And tread down the wicked where they stand. Wait, hold on. Adorn yourself with eminence and dignity and clothe yourself with honor and majesty. Pour out the overflowings of your anger and look on everyone who is proud and make him love. Look on everyone who is proud and humble him and tread down the wicked where they stand. Hide them in the dust together. Bind them in the hidden place. Then I will also confess to you that your own right hand can save you. I put my right hand to God. <laughs> That's all I know. I don't know the, the rest of the rhymes. Sorry, Nikki. I mean, uh, Nikki. <laughs> Sorry, Nipsey. I put my right hand on God. He be so aggressive. And I be loving it. Anyways, um. For the wild black. Hide them in the dust together, bind them in their hidden place, and I will confess to you that your right hand can save you. Behold now, behumus. Oh, behumus is out. Okay, that's the er, hippopotamus, uh, which I made as well as you. He's like, I made the hippopotamus just as, well, as good as I made you. He eats, go he eats grass like an ox. Behold now, his strength is his lion's. Strength in his lion's in his loins and his power in the muscles of his belly. He bends his tail like a cedar and snooze, the snoos of his thighs are, are knit together. His bones are tubes of bronze. His limbs are like bars of iron. He is the first of the ways of God. Let his maker bring near his sword. Surely the mountains bring him food, and all the beasts of the field play there. Under the lotus plants he lies down, in the covert of the reeds and the marsh. The lotus plants cover him with shade, the willows of the brook surround him. If a river rages, he is not alarmed, he is confident, though the Jordan rushes to his mouth. Can anyone capture him when he is on watch? With barbs, can anyone pierce his nose? Can you draw out? I would be mad, like... <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. I would have been pissed as fuck. Like you telling me 
I've gone through all of this and I've been praying and this this like waiting for you to to say something to me, waiting for you to explain this journey for me. And here you come over here talking about did I measure shit and talking about the animals. And I would be so irritated with God, like bro, do not come with me. <laughs> come to me talking to me about how his hippomotamus eats like an ox. <laughs> Do not come with me when I'm broke. <laughs> when I'm broke and hungry and sick. Do not come to me talking about this shit. <laughs> I'm so mad. It's so bad. Can you draw out Leviticus that a, with a fish hook? Or, oh, a Leviticus, a Leviticus, a Leviticus is a crocodile. Can you draw out a crocodile with a fish hook? Damn. Big ass thing for a little ass fish hook. You can barely get a damn fish left alone. Okay, so, but how do they catch crocodiles? Anyways, I don't know. So, or press down his tongue with a cord. Can you put a rope in his nose or pierce his jaw with a hook? Will he make any supplications to you or will he speak to you soft words? Will he make a covenant with you? Will he? Will you take him for a servant forever? Will you play with him as with a bird, or will you bind him for your maidens? Will the traders bargain over him? Will they divide him among the merchants? Can you fill his skin with harpoons or his head with fishing spears? Lay your head, lay your hand on my pillow. Lay your hand on him. Remember the battle. You will not do it again. Behold, ooh, remember the battle. You will not do it again. Behold, your expectation is lost. Will you be laid low even at the sight of him? No one is so fierce that he dares to arouse him. Is this the thing? Is this the um, crocodile? I don't know. No one is so fierce that he dares to arouse him. Who then is he that can stand before me? So you scared a crocodile, how are you not scared of me? Who has given to me that I should repay him? Who has given God an offering that God should give them something? Whenever, whatever is under the whole heaven is mine. Dang, whatever is under the whole ass heaven. All this shit that's up under me is mine. Under my feet is mine. Under my booty, it's mine. I will not keep silence concerning his limbs or his mighty strength or his orderly frame. Who can strip off his outer armor or who can come with his double mail? Who can open the doors of his face? Around his teeth there is terror. His strong scales are his pride. Shut up as shut up as with a tight seal. One is one is so near to another that no air can come between them. They are joined one to another. They clasp each other and cannot be separated. He his sneezes flash and forth light and his eyes are like the eyelids of the morning. Out of his mouth go burning torches, sparks of fire leap forth. Out of his nostrils smoke goes forth as from a boiling pot and burning rushes. His breath kindles coals and a flame goes forth from his mouth. And his neck lodges strength and dismay leaps before him. The folds of his ear, of the folds of his flesh are joined together, firm on him and immovable. His heart is as hard as a stone, even as hard as a tired <laughs> reed. Even as hard as a lower milestone. When he raises himself up, the mighty fear because of the crashing, they are bewildered. The sword that switch, that reaches him cannot avail, nor the spear, the dart of the javelin. Javelin. He, regor he regards iron as straw, bronze as rotten wood. The arrow cannot make him flee. Sling stones are turned into stubble for him. Clubs are regarded as stubble. He laughs at the rattling of the javelin. His underparts are like sharp potchers. He, he spreads out like a threshing shed on the mirror. He makes the depths boil like a pot. He makes the sea like the jar of ointment. Behold him. He makes a wake to shine. One would think the deep to the gray haired. Nothing on earth is like him. One made without fear. He looks on everything that is high. He is king over all the sons of pride. Is this the alligator or is this the lion? Mm. Can you hush up well?
this is all the owl, the crocodile so you know the crocodile ain't gonna do, do nothing without putting out down a fight are you gonna do something are you really gonna go over there and capture the, the crocodile like that remember i told you it's kind of hard to uh, capture a crocodile did i ever tell you how i got this you see it you see it you try can't really see it like that because of let's see my pores you see this want to see something isn't that satisfying anyways um i got this because i was brushing my hair one day and i dropped the brush and it, the wave brush hit me right here to this day i ain't brushed my hair with a wave brush yes i have but not the same not with the same gusto as i did before <laughs> anyways now we're getting to job's confession then job answered the lord and said i know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can thwart it who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore, I have declared that which I did not understand. Things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. Every time I get good, the police come. <laughs> the fizz is watching. <laughs> I be fresh as hell if the fizz watching. Ah! Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so... Okay, so therefore I declare which I did not understand. Okay, so wait, hold on. Who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore I have declared which I do which I did not understand. Things too wonderful for me, which I do not know. Here now I will speak. I will ask you and you instruct me. I have heard of you by by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. Therefore I retract. I repent in dust and ashes. It came about after the Lord had spoken these words to Job that the Lord said to Abaz the Timonite, My wrath is kindled against you and against your two friends because you have not spoken of me what is right as my servant Job has. So, Spirit is saying, when he comes down with this wrath, it's going to be a lot of you fake ass tale readers who are saying things and saying things of a oh, on the midst of God's behalf, pretending as though you are in the positioning to speak for God, right? So if you are doing so to make money and you're just kind of constantly putting out these messages, spewing out a lot of confusion for people and people are taking in your word because they think that it's coming from a higher source you're going to receive that wrath so if you're greedy you're going to receive that wrath that wrath by being sued you're now going to meet greedy clientele who is also going to be suing you to get money and to get the damages so it's really about you remaining humble um and making that sacrifice to not be coming paid. I see this psychic home and around it, it's um, gated up. Every time I see somewhere of a psychic um, building, location, and business, I always end up seeing it going out of service or something around it. it the building is being sold or something, right? So a lot of people speak for God. So he's like, you're speaking. You know, this person is coming. Like I told y'all before you know it's the thing of in person like for me personally honestly if i'm watching before more recently but i was watching like last year the year before that i was taking to heart the messages of the readers because i was like you are using divinations you are saying that you're tapping into source so i am assuming that these messages is coming from god from god in that whatever instruction is given i am going to follow the word and follow suit because i am going to be, i am under the impression that god is the one who is telling me to do these things and that it causes a lot of harm and a lot of strife and it really causes people to have a lot of disbelief and a lot of a lot of disfaith because they're like well this person had pulled these cars and they said that success is here they said that love is here they said that i'm going to get a thousand dollars tomorrow and <laughs> shit like that right they said that these people is out to murder me they said that this and that and the third is happening but you know so i'm going off of their course I'm looking at careers, looking at guidance for careers. They said I should go into financing, but in fact, that was the absolute worst route of career I should have been into. But in fact, God was calling me to be an artist. You see what I mean? So you continue to be greedy in terms of wanting to get these messages out in order to 
hound people fight hound people to get money you're being money hungry you're trying to squeeze every penny out of somebody through using divination every time somebody goes onto one of your divinating spots right whether it's your instagram whether it's your twitter whether it's your tiktok it's constantly being asked for tips constantly being asked for reimbursement constantly making people upset about why they do it it's the same as these pastors and these pastors who are doing it for money are constantly going to have their service around guilting you for not putting your tithes and paying your conference claims right so stuff like that so god is like it's you motherfuckers who's going to get my wrath because you um have not spoken of me what is right as my servant job has you are not spoke, speaking at, as of right you're just telling the people they're not in alignment that they're doing something wrong that they're shame you're shaming them because you're trying to get them to go and pay for your services to pay for your patreon to pay for your membership right to pay for your only fans to pay for your whatever you know your subscription on instagram whatever the whatever subscription site you're using you're using these messages you will you will halfway you will just chop off you by spirits gave this message then you will chop the message off and say you will have to actually get out leave this app go to another place sign up for my membership give me the money so i could give you the last three sentences of that message right but if you're really speaking for god you're not going to be trying to monetize off of that you're just wanting to go about giving getting the message out and getting the message out for the people but then you want to put think of all of these things to add an ad right so that you can monetize off of it so now we're supposed to be in the midst of a channel in the midst of a sermon in the midst of a divine message but i keep getting interrupted by these fucking ads because you want every little penny coming out of these things but if you are of service for god how can you do that and also be a uh, try to change monetary things so he said, now, therefore, take for yourselves seven bulls and seven rams and go to my servant Job and offer up a burnt offering for yourselves. And my servant Job will pray for you, for I will accept him so that I may not do with you according to your folly, because you have not spoken of me what is right as my servant Job has. So they're all right. Well, now go get the seven bulls, the seven rams, and then come in and do the sacrifice because you guys were so big and boastful about telling him he was he was wicked, c accusing him of doing something wrong, right? Putting him down instead of uplifting him. Now, Joe, I'm about to have make the, your enemies your footstool. Those people who call you the call your very friends are the very people who now have to be humbled by coming to you with the sacrifice because i didn't say you are the holy one that you are the ones who have been serving you've been righteous you've been obedient i was just testing you i was just having you go through your upgrade you were just going through your spiritual awakening while meanwhile these other ones act so high and mighty that they over here thinking that they could speak for me but they can't speak for me, especially if they don't know all of the things that I do. If they don't know how many inches of the earth it is, how many leaves is on this bush, how can they speak to tell you whether or not you are righteous or you are wicked? So, it's the same thing if you're thinking about celebrity and the devil worship. People are looking at them and saying they're devil worshiping, but God is like, how do you know? How do you know? How do you know? <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. You don't know why I have them in these positions, why I have them in this spotlight. You don't know what they've done. You don't know the diligence that they've done for me. You don't know. So why are you speaking and accusing them of devil worship? You don't know. Right? So Eliphaz, the Temanite, and Bildad, the Shuhite, and Zophar, the Namathite, went and did as the Lord told them, and the Lord accepted Job. The Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he prayed for his friends, and that the Lord increased all that Job had tenfold. He gave him his fortunes ten twofold because he prayed for his friends. He prayed for his enemies. And so in this moment, in this final thing, in this darkest hour, 
when the people come for you, God is going to ask you to pray for them. God is going to ask you to do a good deed for them. God is going to ask you to do pray and do the sacrifice for them, for your enemies, instead of you fighting them. God did not give him the fortune back from beating his frenemies' ass for running it in their faces, but for praying for them, right? So the Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he prayed for his friends and the Lord increased all that Job had tenfold. Then all his brothers and all his sisters and all whom had known him before came to him and they ate bread with him in his house and they consoled him and confronted him for all the adversaries, adversities that the Lord had brought on him. And each one gave him one piece of money and each a ring of gold. The Lord blessed the latter days of, of Job more than his beginning. I'm going to read that again. The Lord blessed the, late, the latter days of Job more than his beginning. And he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and 1,000 yoke of oxen and 1,000 female donkeys. He had seven sons and three daughters. He named the first Jeremiah and the second Kizia and the third Karen Hapa. That was ugly. Sorry. In, the, in all the land, no women were found so fair as Job's daughters. And their father gave them inheritance among their brothers. After this, Job lived 140 years and saw his sons and grandsons for generations and Job died in gold man and full of days so you go through this act do you go through this um spiritual awakening right and everything is taken from you like i told y'all my career my job my money my apartment my peace my privacy my <laughs> clothes <laughs> you know all of these things god was like i have to take them away for a minute because i have to have you go through this journey people are going to be like what are you doing they're going to accuse you of not wanting to work they're going to accuse you of this that and the third they're going to accuse you of not being in alignment but god is going to give you 10 folds two folds however you want to call it in the ending right so the beginning of this stage yes you lost a lot before what you had then what i had was making 24 dollars an hour and i was in a one bedroom apartment and i barely had any furniture <laughs> i barely had any furniture um uh, i had these couple little friends and stuff like that and spirit was like release these things release these clothes um release your life release your mind release yourself you won't break my soul. <laughs> you won't break my soul. And I'm telling everybody. 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 Release your stress. Release your job. Do it the rest. I'm going to count my head. People in the house, and they're yakking your mouth, and we back outside. I'm sorry, we outside. We back outside. I'm in a new direction. I'm in my own direction. Yeah. Right? So, <laughs> right? Um, no, but seriously. Um, <laughs> I'll be like, seriously, and then I started laughing. God gave Job everything back tenfold, way more than he even started off with. What he had to sacrifice wasn't nothing than what he received back. So what the things that we have to sacrifice in order to do this journey is the things that we're going to receive back. Doing offerings to the spirits, doing offerings to the deities, doing sacrifices to God, you will get those things back, right? You will get when damn things bizet. Um so you have to what's this? <laughs> so you have to get ready for the revolution. Uh, sorry. Um I was looking at this man. He acting different today. He acting a little bit crackety shit. 
than he normally at. Because usually, he just be calm trying to get some you know, do his work and stuff. But today, he acted a little bit cockety. <laughs> We back outside. So we outside when we not outside. Good and none. Um, what was I talking about? Yes, yeah, so the sacrifice, right? So we just talked, we started off the last reading talking about not the last, the last video talking about sacrifice and sacrificing to the deities and how sacrificing to a demigod is the equivalent to sacrificing for God, right? In order to get your true offering. Um, it's a black beetle. But anyways, um it's so cute. I like to move a few. Um what y'all talking about, you guys? Now my teacher span is going to ruin. Um, Job. <laughs> Job. So whatever these sacrifices that you have to do, you're going to do continuous sacrifices during your first few phases of your spiritual awakening, through your ascension, right? So you're going to first sacrifice an old friend an old relationship right usually those are the markers that it triggers the spiritual awakening you're going to sacrifice your relationship with your parents and things like that but god is going to replace that so all of these things that we have to give up right so so weed alcohol this is what i'm talking about for myself so we have to give up alcohol spirit's about to have me give up family um you know the relationship with them i'm about to sacrifice um i've sacrificed my job security right um the the comfort of uh, look at it i just want to show you it do you see him see him on my own salvation yeah okay you won't break that beetle so um sacrifice a steady paycheck for absolutely nothing right <laughs> absolutely nothing and ebt in a drink right um hell sacrifice my ebt call <laughs> um everything right um just that thing of knowing like okay i'm gonna get do that sacrificing clothes I'm gonna say sacrificing apartment, sacrificing love, sacrificing uh, uh, our sexual pleasures. Hell, I had to be celibate for a cool little minute, right? For a cool little minute. Just for me to have two times in school, like, all right, go back. Like, dang, can I have like five more? Um, okay, sacrifices and things like that. And all of those things that I lost, all of those things that I had to give up, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Now, Job the guy, they say Job the guy him for light skinned kids. He didn't have some dark skins. <laughs> some dark skins of some Kelly Rollins the first round, but now they died. Now he about to have the fairest kids of them all, right? The light, the light brightest, the red bonus of them all type of kids. So they could, they could survive the white passing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, look at the, look at the Bible, perpetuating colorism. <laughs> now, nah, but, um, yeah, so w when we give up these things, God is going to give us way more just for being his servant, just for being obedient. And it's them very, it's them very friends. It's those very connections that are going to be wanting you to pray for them. God says, pray for your enemies, love your enemy as though it is yourself, right? So don't, so as the people are going to come into retaliating with you, change the situation, pray for them, pray for their mind, listen to them, be, meet the situation with kindness, meet the situation with sympathy and empathy, change the situation around. You don't have to meet them fire with fire. You could be the water that puts it out. I don't have to be the fire because you come in with the flames. I can smother it out. But I'm the pot lid. We're going to smother this kitchen fire, this grease fire out, right? So people are going to be coming. People are going to want to retaliate through magic and shit like that. All it is is for you to return to Senator, but pray. Pray for their, their peace. Pray for their tranquility. Actually, I'm actually going to start changing the way in which I do a return to sender. I don't even want to send that energy back. In fact, I'm going to pray for their peace for them. I want to pray for understanding for them. I am going to pray for their love for them. Hell, if somebody's all up in your face, start praying. 
I remember when this girl had threatened to jump me and I was ready for her and I was like is she gonna come because I was scared because I didn't know if I was gonna fight or not because I wasn't on that shit the way I am now but <laughs> at that time you know I was so much more timid than I am now so much right like this is this little vice it's a little bit newer <laughs> It be tucked in there, but I wasn't really about that shit the way I am now. That's what's very like, do not, you of all people don't need to be going to no family functions right now. You of all people, but that's smart ass mouth you got. Mm -mm. Now that you about that life, you, you the last one. I need you to be by yourself. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so all of the things, you guys, all of the things. Um, Yeah, so that's the end of the message. I don't want to keep prolonging it, but you get the gist, right? The sacrifice. So those are the part one and two and spirit rest like just do this last little bit, bitch. Just stop drinking and smoking. <laughs> You've done everything else. You've done the harder thing. This is actually even your easiest part. You've done all of the hard stuff. Why can you just not do this one thing so I can give you everything that you want and imagine? I saw things I imagine things I imagine things I imagine mm -hmm. they come a long way of today to intuition and invite help is our last card we're going to say invite the divine to pursue you seriously and just say I am he I am finally ready God pursue me intuition each person's road to inner Lord is extraordinary and personal how liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what's needed clearing as true offering arises it becomes a lot easy to let go you start to trust that more will always arrive you shift from mind, mind, mind to God's, God's, God's and such freedom. And you see that is Ganesh um, right here, which is the remover of the road. So ask Ganesh to help you remove that obstacle, that obstacle of sobriety, that obstacle of debt, that obstacle of imposter syndrome, whatever it is for what God is calling for you to do in your next phase, ask for that. You may not be here ready for it to work with the demigods, right? Clearing came back again, so that was like period, because we're getting clear. Ask Ganesh to clear clear that, right? So I'm gonna take it serious. But I'm gonna have one more I'm gonna have to have one more day and then after that I'm gonna take God serious. I'm gonna take God serious. Period. He said so too. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so that's really it. You can tell that it's really like, all right, in the message. Okay. <laughs> and grief. Tears are what happen when the ice in the heart melts. So it's going to be painful, but it's ultimately self-love. So whatever it is that you have your experience of loss and grief, you're going to have to grieve the loss of something that you enjoyed, a pleasurable activity, even though it brought harm to you, right? So let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child alone to take care of myself like never before. Spirit wants us right action. Divine love is right up under it too. Uh, literally means let everything that wants to go, go. And everything that wants to come, come. God wants these blessings to come, but God's not going to have you fucking up these blessings by drinking. Don't you remember? Beyonce had put a thing that at the Renaissance tour, the people who work in the Renaissance tour isn't supposed to be drinking or smoking. <laughs> isn't supposed to be drinking or smoking so what if you had the dream of the manifestation to be an answer for her you're not supposed to be drinking or smoking so you're gonna release that or no i'm just saying let's just as an example um but yeah look at this beautiful flower i just wanted to show you this flower i don't have the purpose for it but yes so that's it even toxic and, and disgusting foods that we were eating and stuff like that right even your aunt's cooking <laughs> sacrifice day just make your meal just make your meal um yes that's it you guys that's all that i have to offer today and i give you peace and blessings i might do another reading with just an oracle deck but that's pretty much it that i have today <laughs>